today I'm going to be teaching you how to do lighting, how to apply lighting onto the characters. Um, I'm going to need three different skin tones. What I think is the easiest way to do lightings and I think looks the best. I do this all the time. And yeah, I'm no uh, pro, but yeah, please don't compare me to people like Ross Draws or like Proco. Just testing audio. So right now we're in Photoshop. We have our three skin colors pulled up. And right now I'm just applying the light to the top of the hair. If you actually look at hair, you can see that hair is slightly transparent. So that's why light's able to transpire, uh, pass through it. So yeah, I'm just exaggerating that a bit though, because it's usually not going to be this bright. Uh, my white, this is completely white. So yeah. And I'm doing the same thing with the uh, guy on the left, but it's not going to be a as visible just because his hair is shorter. And I'm not going to apply light through the scalp because that's not possible. Right now, you see this little pinkish like neon color? Yeah, that's the color that you see when light passes through the ears. So, you know, the ears are pretty see-through. If you actually take a flashlight and shine it through your ears, you'll notice that same color. So, yeah. And right now, I'm just applying light to the cheeks. And then I'm going to add that pinkish neon color. Uh at the edge of it so yeah here's the my favorite part of lighting so you know I like to think of the face as a mirror but not as reflective so right now I'm just taking the light from the sky and applying that to the forehead and with darker skin colors you can get away with like adding I don't know like purple or something just because it's gonna look a lot more reflective than other skin tones yeah if you see you can see that when I apply the blue light to the lighter skin tones it's not as visible it doesn't look like it has as much form I don't know there might be a way to make it look better but yeah if you if you know just leave it down below in the comments so right now I'm just adding a little green let's say like there's sunlight bouncing off the green grass and it's super bright some of that light's gonna end up being on the face and i think it looks a little i think it looks pretty cool the more i th i think if you add more colors the more lively your picture looks right now i'm just adding in some purple there might not be purple in the sky but you can do it you know you can get away with a lot of things when drawing that you couldn't that isn't really possible in real life but you can see you see form so it's fine So I'm just going to add a new layer here. Uh, what I'm going to do is make the light where all the, the spots where all the bright light is, like where it's almost pure white glow. I'm also going to do it a little bit to the ears, but not as exaggerated as it is in the white spots. So 
when it's something's really bright it kind of looks like it glows a lot of uh tv shows do this i know attack on titan does this death note does it just a lot of animes those are the same studio though so yeah i'm making that pinkish neon color glow a bit Alright, thanks for watching, and if you want to create environments for your characters, just click that video. I don't know where it is, but yeah, just click it. Um, You're probably going to want <laughs> environments for your video, so yeah. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Peace.